Birmingham police are searching for an armed and dangerous murder suspect. The son of the woman who was shot and killed while sitting in her car is speaking out about the horrifying incident he survived. CBS 42's news reporter Corey McGinnis joins us now live from Birmingham Police Headquarters with the very latest on this story. Corey. Sherry, good evening, and police have been searching for this man, Adam Isom, now for about five days. Tonight, I got the chance to speak with the victim's son who seeks justice and help to bury his mother. That's my first lady. I would, I would never forget that. I know, forget it. December 16th, 2019 will forever be etched in the mind of Brandon Twiley. That's the day he and his mother were shot, but his mother, Sherry Twiley, didn't make it. I got hit first, then my mom. So, all of a sudden, when I made my mom to the hospital, all of a sudden, she just passed. Brandon shows me where he was shot. Like my bottom lip and top lip, and right up on him. Then my arm, then it came to my shoulder right here and says he drove his mother to this store. When she was inside, this man, Adam Isom, showed up. When Brandon's mother got in the car, he pulled off. He says Isom first pulled up behind the car and then alongside of him. That's when he started firing shots. Now police are searching for Isom, who they say is armed and extremely dangerous. Isom is now wanted for capital murder and attempted murder. Police say it's urgent he is found quickly. Asking for the public's help in stopping this, this person. We need to know his location his whereabouts and any kind of information you may have on him. Sir Isom is heavily armed, we do believe. We conducted a search warrant of his residence and recovered several weapons. I want to thank you all for donating to help me come up with the money to, to try to bail my mom. Since the incident, Brandon posted this video on GoFundMe to help raise money for his mother's funeral. I really thank you. God bless you. And although he's recovering from his injuries, Brandon says nothing will ever fill the hole in his heart for his mother and hopes someone has an answer that can help bring closure from this tragedy. We just make more than a breakdown plan right now. And if you would like to help the family out, we'll have a link to that GoFundMe uh, account information on our website at CBS42.com. Uh, a community vigil for Sherry Twiley will be held tomorrow at 4 o'clock. We'll also have that information posted on our website. We're live tonight in Birmingham. Corey McGinnis, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.